So far, the biggest surprise in the NHL has been the Buffalo Sabres. As of Thursday, they had the second best record in the Eastern Conference. Think about that. The Sabres have been a perennial non-playoff team, and now they are locked into a spot. How are they doing it? Well, obviously, Jack Eichel is leading the way in scoring, but I got to mention Jeff Skinner. Tied for second in goals with 15. This guy has been the biggest offseason acquisition in the NHL. From Buffalo, let's go to Montreal, another team that no one picked to be a playoff team. How are they doing it? Well, it's not Carey Price. While the all-star goaltender has typically been the guy carrying the load, I'm going to look at Max Domi, I'm going to look at Tom Tatar, both off-season acquisitions that are making GM Mark Bergevin look like a very smart man. If they can keep it up, and with Shea Weber coming off the injury list, this looks like it could be more than just a dark horse team. On to the disappointments, and you know what, seven weeks in, there's been a lot of disappointing teams, whether it's Edmonton, LA, St. Louis, really the list goes on, but I'm going to focus my energy right now on the Pittsburgh Penguins. This is a team of Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, Phil Kessel, Matt Murray and Nett, and they've got the second worst record in the Eastern Conference standings. Now they've already made a trade dealing Carl Hagelin for Tanner Pearson, but if you're telling me that the hot seat's not getting hotter for Mike Sullivan, you're crazy. Another disappointment, Vegas Golden Knights. Last year, this expansion team looked like a playoff team, looked like a Stanley Cup contender going all the way to the final. Now, back to square one. Karma is a tough one in the NHL, and the hockey gods really got it in for Vegas, who, while everything was going right for them a year ago, everything is going wrong for them right now. They can't turn it around. This is a team that could be looking at the number one pick in the NHL draft. Now the good news is there's a lot of hockey left to be played and if you think the Buffalo Sabres are going to make it ahead of the Pittsburgh Penguins, well I'm here to tell you that it's probably not going to happen. At the same time, put your money on the Montreal Canadiens. If Carey Price hasn't played his best hockey yet, then that means this team is destined to make the playoffs. For Post Media News, I'm Michael Trikos.